Hey guys, it's Friday morning's devotional and we're going through 50 days of prayer. We're almost to the end of 50 days of prayer, but really we're just getting started because we've been looking at some of the great prayers of the Bible. And today we're going to look at a prayer of desperation, but it's a prayer that stopped Jesus in his tracks and Christ answered the prayer. And so we want to emulate this prayer because really that's our condition, whether we realize it or not, we're always desperate for God. Uh, sometimes we just don't realize it, but this man realized it and his prayer stopped Jesus Christ in his tracks and Christ answered the prayer. And let's look at it. It's in Luke 18, beginning with verse 35. It says, as Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. When he heard the crowd going by, he asked what was happening. And they told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. And he called out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And those who led the way rebuked him and told him to be quiet, but he shouted all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped, and he ordered the man to be brought to him. When he came near, Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? Lord, I want to see, he replied. And Jesus said to him, Receive your sight. Your faith has healed you. Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus, praising God. When all the people saw it, they also praised God. I love that because we see this picture of a, a blind, desperate beggar sitting by the side of the road and then all this commotion starts and people are running by and children are laughing and playing and this crowd gathers and he wants to know what's going on and someone tells him Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. And hope began to spring up in his heart because he'd heard the stories of how Jesus of Nazareth had healed the blind, how he had healed the lame, how he'd done miracle after miracle. And, and so hope sprang up and something just took hold of his heart and he cried out. And here's the prayer. I want us to look at it again. It's in Luke 18, verse 38. He called out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And that's a prayer that we can pray. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Now, here's what's so interesting. Um, the crowd told him to be quiet. Shut up. You're making a fool of yourself. You're creating a scene. Jesus doesn't want anything to do with you. But he just cried out all the more and he kept praying all the more. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Now, that's interesting because he called Jesus the son of David, which the Messiah was to come from David's lineage. So when he was saying Jesus, son of David, he was saying, Jesus, I see that you are the true Messiah. You're the son of God. And so that blind beggar saw clearly what everyone there with 2020 vision couldn't see, that Jesus was the Messiah, the son of God. And he called out to him. And so he realized how desperate he was, how no one could heal him, how he needed um, an answer, how he needed a miracle. He was desperate for a miracle and he knew that Jesus was the only one that could do it, for he was the Messiah, the Son of God. And then he prayed, Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. And it says, Jesus stopped and ordered the man to be brought to him. And when he came near, Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? He says, Lord, I want to see. And that was the second prayer to Jesus that day. Lord, I want to see. I need to be able to see. And Jesus answered his prayer. And so today, it's okay just to cry out to Jesus, just to cry out to him. Jesus, son of God, have mercy on me. I'm desperate for you. I'm desperate for you to heal me. I'm desperate for you to strengthen me. I'm desperate for you to give me wisdom in this decision. I'm desperate for a job. I'm desperate, Lord Jesus, for you to work a miracle in my marriage. I'm desperate. And as we seek him in our desperation, he stops, he listens. And he brings a miracle. I believe with all my heart, God wants to stop and work a miracle to meet your deepest need as only he can. So let's pray today. Let's seek him today. Let's follow him today. God bless you.